so hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you yet another FIFA 18 career mode tops tips video or top tips video even. Uh, these have been, you know, you guys have been loving these recently. The box and Bournemouth career mode will be returning pretty soon though now that my uni assignments are done. But for today's video I am bringing you the best free kick specialists in FIFA 18 career mode. It is pretty simple, these are 10 of the best free kick takers and set piece specialists on the entirety of career mode. Uh, entirety even. They're all pretty young, they've all got really high potentials. Some of them vary though in terms of price at the start of the game, so you have got options if you want to bring in a cheap player or someone like that. But the key theme is that they are all amazing at free kicks. I also just want to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring today's FIFA 18 tips video. They're a great source of footballing news as well as tables and statistics, so if you want to check out anything to do with the footballing world in any of the major divisions, then make sure to go and check that app out. Obviously, I use it mainly to look at my beloved Liverpool and see who we're linked with in terms of transfer targets, as you can do that on the app. And also, of course, check out how the players are doing statistically in the league and in the various competitions they take part in. You guys can even use it to keep tabs on the people involved in this video. It'll give you an idea of who's performing well and who maybe is going to be getting upgrades from EA on FIFA 18 career mode. So if you want to stay a step ahead of the game, then make sure to download the app. You can check it down in the description below. Below. Moving on to the players though, and I'm sure it comes as no surprise to the first player in this video, it is Hakan Chalyanolu, the now Milan left midfielder and attacking midfielder from Turkey. He left Bayer Leverkusen in the summer to join the, well, the raft of players that joined AC Milan over those summer months. Free kick accuracy of 93 on this guy. He is officially the best free kick taker, I believe, or young one anyway, in the game. Best player who's like below 25. Ridiculous long shots, shot power, curve is 92. You can see his traits there as well, takes finesse free kicks, long shot taker and also has the flair trait as well. 23 years of age and 79 overall, I believe he has the potential to get to roughly 82 or 83, maybe even higher than that. Also 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves as well for Hakan Chalyanolu there, the best got the best free kick taker you will see in this video in terms of sort of young players. Moving on from that though, we've got Marcos Alonso, the 81 rated left back from Chelsea. The Spaniard scored quite a few free kicks actually last season, uh, so pretty justified of his high free kick attributes being 84 on his accuracy, also 81 shot power, 80 curve, 81 crossing, really good stamina, decent pace, marking and other defensive stats on this guy as well, although they're a little bit lower than his 81 overall. Long shot taker, and takes fr uh, finesse free kicks or his traits. You'll see that quite a lot in this video. High attacking and defensive work rate, which is also good. So he's actually useful for more than just scoring free kicks is what I'm trying to say. Three star week for three star skill moves, really good work ethic, decent pace, decent dribbling ability, just a bit of an all-rounder as I'm sure you could tell from his team of the season card last year. Moving on to another all-rounder and this is Christian Eriksen, the attacking midfielder who can play on both wings, is 25 years of age, 87 overall. So it's not, it's not surprising that one of his amazing attributes is his free kick accuracy. 87 on that, 84 long shots and 85 curve, I do believe that is as well. Really good ball control, crossing, dribbling and of course passing stats too. He's got four traits. I'm not going to go through all of them because they're, they're pretty generic ones for the type of player that he is or the type of player that we're showing off in this video, but just a ridiculous player. High attacking work rate along with four star skill moves and five star weak foot. The man just doesn't know what his strong foot is. Absolutely ridiculous player, especially on career mode as well there, Christian Eriksen. Moving on to the German league now, we've got Marvin Plattenhart. It's another left back. Um, who's very good at free kicks, and that is a bit of a trend in this video. I don't know what's going on these days, but we seem to have a lot of left backs who are very good at taking free kicks. Marvin Plattenhart has got 89 free kick accuracy, but it isn't even his best attribute. 90 crossing for the German playing for Hertha Berlin. 25 years of age, 78 overall, as I mentioned. 85 curve for him as well. Shot power is lacking a little bit, but still very, very decent. Expect to uh, score quite a few free kicks with him. Long throw-in as well is an interesting trait for Plattenhart. Medium attacking and defense work rate and then three star weak foot and three star skill moves for Platinum Heart who I think grows to 80 overall doesn't seem that high but his attributes make him seem a lot better than he actually is in terms of his overall. Now here is your out there option this is Oscar the captain of Real Madrid Castilla he plays for Real Madrid on the game though because RM Castilla aren't on FIFA 18 but look at this guy only 68 
overall, 19 years of age, got pretty decent potential, I think it's roughly 82 to 84. Free kick accuracy is already 82, curve is already 78, his shot power is lacking quite massively, but in terms of the actual accuracy of his free kicks, that is insane for a 19 year old. You could easily train those up to 99, I'm not gonna lie, and you could obviously train his shot power as well pretty well, given he's only 19 years of age. I've searched him on YouTube, He's scored some banging free kicks playing for RM Castilla. Very, very good player there is the captain of Real Madrid's B team. Next up though, we've got Rafael Guerrero. Another left back, would you believe? A lot more versatile. He plays a centre mid and a left mid. Decent pace as well as agility and stamina. Even better technical attributes too. Shot power, long shots, short passing, crossing, dribbling, ball control. But on top of that, 82 free kick accuracy and 84 curve. It's astonishing to actually think that he's only 80 overall when you look at those attributes. It's really weird. I don't know how he's not got a higher rating than that. He's 23 years of age, massively all round, as you can see by his summary page there. Four star skill moves as well, as high attacking work rate. He's just a perfect left back to have on the game. It's just amazing. As I mentioned, from Portugal, playing for Borussia Dortmund over in the Bundesliga and 23 years of age. Next up, though, we've got this man, Enes Bardi of Levante. Another example of a slightly cheaper player is the Macedonian. 75 rated, 22 years of age. Can play as an attacking mid or a central midfielder. Look at his free kick accuracy. I think that's is that 80. I can't read it on my preview, but I think that's 87. Ridiculous shot power and 88 curve as well. That is insane. I've literally I've not heard of this guy before this FIFA. So I don't know where he's come from. I don't know what team he signed for uh, from. Sorry for Levante, but. Very, very, very good free kick taker. High attacking work rate as well as three star skill moves and four star weak foot. Technical ability, shooting and passing are his respective strong points there. And just a very good player who can pick up for a little bit cheaper than some of the other guys. Moving on to the absolute tower of a human being though, which is Anderson Talisca from Benfica. Can play as an attacking mid, striker or centre mid. Look how tall the kid is. 23 years of age, 79 overall. Very good technicals page, very sort of all rounded, but free kick accuracy there at 80. 87, 87 long shots, 86 curve, and 84 shot power. Ridiculous free kick taker. As I mentioned, 79 overall, got the potential to grow to 83, I think it is, playing for Benfica over in the Portuguese league. Is from Brazil, four star weak foot and three star skill moves, as well as high attacking work rate. Six foot three, but the game makes him look as if he's genuinely seven foot seven. But there we go, Anderson Talisca, yet another option for free kick takers on this game. And now we've got another player who's been around in these sorts of videos for quite some time. It is Memphis Depay now playing for Olympic Lyon. Didn't have the best spell at United, did he? But the extremely pacey and agile Dutchman is now playing over in France for Lyon, as I mentioned. He plays a left winger and left mid. He's 23 years of age. I feel so old saying that. I remember a time when he was only like 18 and just bursting on the scene. Ridiculous dribbling, but 88 free kick accuracy, as well as stupid like shot power. This kid has got ridiculous shot power in his locker. Two-star weak foot is a little bit disappointing, uh, but four-star skill moves as well. High attacking work rate, but you don't need a weak foot to be able to take a ridiculous free kick, and that is what Mem uh, Memphis Depay sorry, is capable of doing. Onto the penultimate player, and yep, you guessed it, another left back, and another player from AC Milan. I don't know how Milan decide who takes the free kicks, quite honestly, because this is the Swiss left back, Ricardo Rodriguez, who signed for them as well in the summer from German side Wolfsburg. 87 crossing is his best attribute, but free kick accuracy is 84. Very good slide tackling as well as curve and penalties are very high as well uh, for Ricardo Rodriguez. Another player with the long throw-in speciality as well as early crosser and set play specialist. So maybe he takes the corners and Chalionolu takes the free kicks. I don't quite know how it works. Rodriguez can play as a left back and centre back. 24 years of age, 81 overall with three star weak foot, three star skill moves and medium and attacking no, hang on. Medium attacking and defensive work rate. That is what I was trying to say. But now moving on to the final player, and we go back to Portugal and back to Lisbon for Yuri Medeiros, but this time he plays for Sporting. The right midfielder can also play on the left. Very agile, very pacey, as you would expect from wingers these days, quite frankly. 81 dribbling, but as well as that, 82 free kick accuracy, as well as 88 curve. Decent shot power and long shots as well. You can train those into him, and they'll naturally grow too, because he's only 23 years of age. 77 overall, though, is Medeiros. He's got the finesse shot, outside foot shot, and technical dribbler traits as well in his locker. 
four-star skill moves is always great for a winger. Three-star weak foot and high attacking work rate for the Portuguese youngster. Again, another player that you can pick up for probably, I want to say, 10 million, roughly. You could probably buy Yuri Medeiros for maybe stretching to 12 just because he's a, f a forward player. But someone you could bring in, if, you don't, if you're don't, if you you know using a mid-table side in the Premier League, you'd easily be able to afford someone like Yuri and Medeiros. And he'd be able to take some pretty damn good free kicks for you. And that is a trend for all of the players in this video. 10 free kick specialists who could quite easily produce a ridiculous top corner free kick. Though somehow Ashley Young hasn't made it in here despite his incredible free kick against Watford. If you haven't seen that, it's one of the best free kicks I've seen in a very long time. Uh, since that Chalionolu one that he scored when he was playing for Hamburg. But anyway, that is not the point. I'm going off on a tangent. That is the end of today's video. I've brought you 10 players you can use as free kick specialists in your FIFA 18 career modes. And if you have any other options or any other players that you use for this type of player, then make sure to drop them down in the comment section. And if you've got any more suggestions for tips videos to do, then drop those down below as well. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the box series and the Bournemouth career series will be returning very soon, as in, in like the next three three, four days. Um, I've just had a lot of uni assignments on. I had one assignment and then I had another assignment three days later that I wasn't able to start on until the first one was done. In essence, I had to write a 2,000 word essay in three days and that doesn't allow for much free time. So I wasn't able to really edit those sorts of videos that take a little bit longer to make. So those are coming soon. That's my explanation. I hope you guys understand. If you've enjoyed this specific video though, make sure to slap a like on it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. You can follow me on Twitter as well. My handle is at the official FNG. Links to that are down below. And my Instagram is exactly the same. At the official FNG is the handle over there too. But it has been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves. And goodbye. I roll out with some monsters. Looks like your team and you watches. I do not roll with imposters. Tried by the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's. I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch f me so hard. I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie. Especially if it is crushless. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop us.